Hey guys, it's me and I'm going to uh, make the English spoken version of uh, another video I just uploaded. Uh, I just wanted to uh, give you a quickie one. Yeah, quickie. In the bathroom of the plane. Eh? Now nah, about this, this shit that went down. Um, I, I don't know if I ever said this, but I'm a, I'm a huge HBL uh, fan. I always liked him. Uh, I, can, I, feel, I feel a kind of kinship with him. Because, you know, we're both anti-social weirdos uh, who live with their families uh, when they're too old for that. And we, uh, well, I'm kind of making money now, but, you know, uh, I, I was used to not making too much money, as was his case. So I kind of respect this guy. And I, I actually, I was uh, big into role-playing when I was a teenager. So uh, this, this shit kind of pisses me off. Uh, this this uh, pussies, Evil Hat Productions so fit to uh, throw HPL under the bus for no particular reason. I don't understand why they felt the need to point this out. Uh, well, for starters, uh, they they published this about their their new game. Apparently, it's a it's a new RPG that they're going to be publishing called Fate of Cthulhu, and. Check this out. It, Fate, of, Fate of Cthulhu is a game that deals with many hard topics, including mental health system. Make sure all the players are aware of these things and give enthusiastic consent before they begin playing. When did role, role gamers, role playing gamers, uh, we call them roleros here in Spain, and when the hell did they become such pussies that they, they need to give you consent before, before beginning the game? What? Dude, you're just going to throw some dice as you're not gonna fuck them in the ass. I anyway, uh, also, Howard Phillips, Love Howard Phillips Lovecraft is a racist and an anti Semite. There was said that. Why would you feel the need to point this out? Who cares? The guy has been dead for 90 years. Now, wh what are you expecting to gain with this? Yeah, no, I'm not going to say the usual. Oh, yeah, you you think the guy was a piece of shit, but you're still profiting from his work. Yeah, that's that's been said a bazillion times. I'm I'm just trying to understand why they would do this. Virtue points, okay? Yeah, well, I don't know. Uh, well, one for starters, uh, I don't know if these assholes ever read HPL. I have read HPL, and I don't think he was a racist. A racist as much as he was a classist. Uh, I'm sure if you know his work, if you know about him, you'll know that he was a huge Anglophile and he was proud of his uh, British roots. I think he was Welsh, of Welsh descent. And, uh, you know, he tried hard to be a gentleman to the point that it killed him because he contracted stomach cancer at some point and he refused to have it checked, because, you know, a gentleman would never have another man dealing his asshole. So he was such a gentleman, such a supreme gentleman, <laughs> I might add, that it killed him. So, uh, I don't, I don't recall, they say it here, see? We could give a litany of examples, no you couldn't, but there is Dauphin with a simple internet search, look up the name of his cat for instance. Uh, and that's the only example you have of him being racist. That he kill, he called his cat the N-word during a time in which the N-word was used to describe people of dark skin. His cat was black, also known as had dark skin, and he called him the N-word. So that's racist for you? He called him the, the consensual word? The... the 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 like the widely accepted word to describe people of dark skin how is that racist we consider the n word racist now it wasn't racist 100 years ago well that's one example that you fail at because you're stupid um he did say a couple of times that he didn't like the lower classes that dwelled into the you know the the bad neighborhoods of new york city in which he uh, spent a portion of his life living. But he, but he also didn't like... Uh, are you ready for this? He also didn't like, white, didn't like white rednecks. 
from Massachusetts and New Jersey and all that. He didn't like poor white people because he was a classist. Well, he wasn't, you know, I, I, we, we would call that a classist now. But he was just a gentleman. He, he liked to think of himself as a gentleman. Therefore, he didn't, he didn't like poor people. He didn't like uneducated people. And yes, back in the day, black people and, and a lot of uh, immigrants were uneducated and poor. Therefore, he didn't like them. But not because they were immigrants or because they had a different skin color. What else do we have here? Uh, Lovecraft once said, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, they say that uh, he, uh, he, uh, he used his imagination to fill that void of knowledge and that he was afraid. I don't think he was afraid. He just didn't like certain types of people. And again, he wasn't talking about their races. He was talking about their social status and their education. He actually spoke highly of the Spaniards in the short story called there. And we all know that he used to talk the, to talk highly about the Arabs, like Abdul Hal al Hazred. Actually, he went uh, by that name. He, that's, a, that's a name that he, he liked to use when he was a kid and he played. He disguised himself as an Arab. And he, he liked to pretend that he was like an, an Arab adventurer that, you know, he was into occult, occultism, the occult knowledge and all that. I guess you could call that cultural appropriation now because you're a massive pussy. Can I use the F word on, on Twitter and on, on YouTube? Sorry, I'm, I'm never sure. But the, the, the F word would be a good way of uh, describing you, you massive pussy. Anyway, in recent years, many writers, including writers of color, have flipped the perspective on some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I think I I uh, I've heard about Winter Tide by Ruthanna M. Rice, whatever. Uh, apparently, uh, she tried to spin the the shadow over Innsmouth uh, to the effect that the, the Deep Ones were actually the prosecuted minority by the fascist United States governments because the the Deep Ones only wanted to to coexist peacefully with us, right? It's not like they wanted to infiltrate our society, destroy it, and bring shogots into dry land to, to destroy the, the remnants of their butchery, right? That's, that's in the freaking story. This, this person, apparently, this Ruthanna Emrys, I haven't read this piece of shit, and I, I, don't, intend on, I don't intend on reading it, but apparently... She was more focused on HPL's personal opinions about people than the actual meaning of his work. And, you know, uh, I've come to the conclusion that this whole let's throw HPL under the bus uh, trend that I've been noticing in recent years is nothing but a way of, uh, let's say, overcompensating because, you know, you will never be as good as Lovecraft and you aren't as tough as us old bastards who are used to the thought of being people out there being better than us and that's how things are you can you can stand the thought that you will never be as good or as imaginative as as, as hpl i mean the guy created his own subgenre of horror for, for christ's sakes i mean you will you can you can you can't even aspire to write in your own work without without looting his so what do you do? You throw him on that. I was ah he he was a racist, he he was an asshole, he was uneducated. I'm better than him. I'm so much better than him because I I hold the rights of the right opinions, and I'm I'm still going to pillage his legacy. I'm still going to rape what he created. Well, I I throw his corpse to the wolves. These people are disgusting, and uh, you know what? Don't buy this this thing buy this piece of shit if you if you really feel the need to play this game I, I wouldn't i wouldn't i can't can't imagine why but you know if you really want to just don't know it it's just pirate it fuck these guys seriously anyway uh, i gotta go take care guys